It's easy to forget just how big an economic earthquake we've lived through. National income fell by more and has stayed lower for longer than it did in the recessions of the 1980s or the 1990s, and even compared to the recession of the 1930s. The result is that once you take inflation into account, it looks like household incomes now will buy about 5% less than back in Christmas 2007, before the financial crisis hit. And because incomes actually grew rather slowly in the years before the recession, we're in the unprecedented position of having no more buying power now than we did around the turn of the century, nearly a decade and a half with no income growth for many people. The pain has been quite evenly spread across the income scale though. Whether you prefer to shop at high-end luxury brand stores like this, or instead prefer the other end of the high street where you can get good offers at knockdown prices. Why is that? Well, the labour market has been remarkably resilient. There are more people in jobs now than in 2007, and unemployment, while high, has risen much less than in the less deep recessions of the early 1980s and early 1990s. And for many of those who are dependent on benefits, the government's squeeze on welfare payments is only just beginning to bite. But most of us have taken a hit to our incomes. Back at Christmas 2007, average earnings were about £393 a week. Now, they're about £450 a week. The trouble is that after inflation, that's worth about 8% less than it was back in 2007. And inflation means that the things that we buy have got more expensive since Christmas 2007, by about 20%. Within that, energy prices have risen by as much as 60%, and food prices by about 30%. Not everyone is worse off, though. Historically low interest rates have kept housing costs down for homeowners, and older people have generally done much better than younger people. But overall, our incomes have gone down, and the costs of the basics have gone up. That means there's less left for Santa.